All right, I'm doing a six part series entitled A Guide to Switching to Linux Ubuntu Edition. And in this video, I'm going over encrypting the home folder on Ubuntu. Now, this is not a full disk encryption. This only applies to your home folder. So anything outside of your home folder will not be encrypted like system files, temporary files that get stored out of your home folder, things like that. But anything inside your home folder will be encrypted. Now I know that full disk encryption might be better, but that requires that you erase your entire drive meaning that if you have a dual boot, you've got to reinstall both operating systems. In fact, I don't even know if you can install Windows on a drive set up that way, though I'm not really 100% sure because I've never actually used it. But you know what? It's definitely better than nothing. And you are going to be glad that you at least set a home folder encryption up in the case where your computer gets stolen. And this is especially relevant for laptops, which can easily be stolen, especially when you're out and about with them. Then at least your sensitive data that's stored inside your home folder is encrypted so the thieves can't get to that without your account's password. And the encryption is very seamless. It's a set it and forget it thing. Once you set it up, you never have to worry about it. And I've never noticed a performance penalty with it, even with an old fashioned mechanical hard drive. If there even is a performance penalty, it's extremely, extremely negligible. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so now the first thing you're gonna do is go up here into settings and then scroll down to users and then click unlock here, punch in your password, and then you're gonna click add user. Now you will need to make this an administrator account. Then you're gonna need to give it a name. I'm just gonna call it temporary user since I'll be deleting this user account after. You know, let's just call it temp. We can set a password now. All right, now you're just gonna log out and then log into your new user account. And then we can go through this initial setup up, next, next, done. All right, now we're gonna go into our terminal right here, and then we can make this bigger. So we're gonna run a couple commands, and I'll have all these commands in the description. So now I'm gonna do sudo apt install ecrypt fs utils, then hit enter, punch in your password for that user account, and then hit enter here. All right, and then once that's done, we're gonna do sudo ecrypt fs migrate home dash u, then your username, then hit enter, and then we're gonna punch in our password for our user account, not this one, then hit enter, and then it'll go and encrypt your home folder. All right, and then once that's done, we're gonna log out of this user account, then punch in your password here. All right, now once we're logged back in, we can go up to settings and then delete that user account. Now we need to unlock this in order to make changes. So you're gonna need to punch in your password again, then click remove user, and then we can delete their files since that was only a temporary account. And now what you're gonna wanna do is go up to files, then go to other locations, computer, then click on this root folder, you know, the one with the X, click on that, then punch in your password, punch it in again. Oh, and then when this pops up, you can just click close. This is just informing you that the home folder encryption is complete. But anyway, let's get back into the root of our drive, then go to home, and then we can delete this unencrypted copy of our home folder with random letters and numbers. This is created just in case something goes wrong during the process. But anyway, we're going to right click on that, then click move to trash, and then it'll warn us that the folder can't be put in the trash, just make sure it has random letters and numbers after the dot, then click delete. And then we'll go delete that unencrypted copy of our home folder because you don't want copies of encrypted data sticking around, that would defeat the purpose. All right, and now we're done. And that was how to encrypt your home folder on Ubuntu. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was helpful, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. And in my next video, I'll be going over removing Windows from a dual boot configuration with Ubuntu if you no longer need it installed on your main system.